Question: I was wondering uh, why is it so much emphasized on what to practice instead of how to practice? In YouTube, online, and videos, and this, they always say what to do. Like learn this scale, learn this lick, learn this song, learn this. That is what to do. But how I will do it? <laughs> that is not there. In, and the difference is is that. What to practice is about something impersonal, something which is not a person. And how to do it, that is about you. This is the biggest difference. The difference when you, when you do something you, how you will do it, this is how. How is about you. And what is about something very vague. Let's say, let's learn leaks of Pat Metheny or something. Well, it's okay also, you will learn different things. But how you will do it and how you use the things also, this is up to you only. The difference is that that is you. So it's very custom to that person. In what, yeah, in one equation, there is not said who will do it. Because I say, okay, let's play this. And then now how? You play, the, this is the leak. But how you will do it? This is, this is about you. That's not about the thing. But of course, it's so much emphasis of that because people became also superficial a bit. League players. You know, when I went in, 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 in the long run, quite, Alan Holtzwold gave a, 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 a master class. And one of the questions was, was that if it is useful to learn leaks. And Alan said right away, no. Hmm. Why? Because the league is also made by another person, that's not you. You will not uh, be you playing it. Of course, he talk from a very advanced level, because for himself this is the way it is. Still, we could also learn leaks properly, leaks by others. Like we learn leaks of Paco also. Hmm. And then if you learn this is a leak of Paco, and then you learn variations of that, how to use it, and then one day, you come up with something through that. It's a very paradoxical thing, it's a strange thing, mystery, but to discover who are you in music, this happens also through others, through the influence of other musicians, the teacher plays a big role, etc. So then therefore, uh, what to do with all this league thing and that, <laughs> people will not get really better day playing by, by parroting stuff. If you parrot something, I can parrot a poem in Chinese perfectly pronounced and still I don't know the grammatical construction and how what I am saying I don't know and I'm just repeating like a parrot and this lead playing many times becomes that. People parrot stuff around but are not they. To become, uh, to become aware of themselves and their musical taste etc. Of course you also learn leaks. Because in the, in, the, in the intermediate and in the beginner stage, it's necessary. But Alan Holtzworth said, it's useless. I was also very amazed to, to listen to that because uh, I, I guess he did to put emphasis that, and that you have to, to work better, you work on, on searching your own way to play mm -hmm. than on how others play. Of course, he's totally original. So, and one time I, I put to Paco one of his uh, Tabasharon albums or something, 
And Paco says, wow, this is really original. This is the only thing original I have in mean, guitar, actually. <laughs> anyway, he never plays that sounds like a, a barber shop. Uh, you know, uh, we said barber shop, but this fire camp chord. Yeah. He never played major like this. Right? <laughs> so why? Because he sit there and, and analyze how to play a major that nobody has tried. Okay. This is very advanced. To do that, you have to be advanced. But first, of course, we have to learn, just like how we learn English here. They, they taught us saying, you just repeat this, the dog is brown, the dog is brown, this thing. And then, with these phrases made, you kind of handle it to go as tourists around. Have you speak Spanish here? In, uh, try to, to? Uh, because no. <laughs> no. Okay. So there is one defect in the Spain, people here don't realize that the world runs in English. And therefore maybe you are sometimes in places that nobody speaks uh, in English, yeah. and then you have to try to say, don't they tomar taxi or things like this, <laughs> where to take a taxi and stuff like that. Right? So this saves you, maybe it can save you somehow. This is like the leaks. But it doesn't make you know Spanish. But you cannot hold a conversation and you don't know the language of music. The language of Spanish or any language, or the language of music, which is a language, that needs to be approached from knowledge. And from knowledge you get, you get knowledge only by, by digging up who are you inside. That comes also through others. In our study program we do study leaks. But knowing careful, this is a leak. This is not you, it has the warning tag there. Mm -hmm. Otherwise you start to think this is the way music works. And then, then we end up with the, or the falsetta playing, this classical version. People think that playing falsettas, they will get somewhere. They don't get anywhere. This mm -hmm. is the leak. They say learning falsetta playing and learning leaks is the same thing. It's just parroting. Of course we also learn falsettas of the Paco de Lucia's discography. From the Paco de Lucia's discography. But we do with different purpose, with the purpose to, first of all, analyze the structure, to know the materials in a way that we can improve also our technique, know what he did, and for compositional purposes, because we start analyzing stuff, one day we come up with things uh, in, in knowledge of what predecessor masters did also. So mm -hmm. that, that, that is a not totally different approach. But I think Alan was understanding, he understood playing leaks just to learn leaks. And then, said, and then someone else said, and then transcribing solos is useful, and he said no. Again, he said no. So a very high answer. I will say if you do properly, this, also, this is also what to do, but how is that if I don't have his level of musicality, maybe I need to, to, to transcribe a solo or to, to learn leaks. Because this is in the, in the beginner stage. Yeah. And he's a very advanced player. He was answering from his point of view. Me ayudó porque descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de, de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando y qué armonías están en cada momento. ¿no? Pablo, Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucía. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrados puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas eh, elaborando esa música. 